the daily news updates on Remo TV, your number one source for credible local stories in Remo land. I am Neil Muji. First, the headlines. ASU has told the federal government to release promotion areas or risk industrial peace. Two dead and 37 rescued as scores are trapped in the Abuja Plaza collapse. Super Eagles Madoka Oke joins Udenis on four-year deal. Kate Henshaw calls for NYSC to be scrapped. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back. At the TFS Snail Farm, we have something for everyone. We sell snail of all sizes and kinds. Live snail, oven dry and spicy. We also stock a wide range of other proteins such as goat meat, catfish, turkey, and tanla, plus dried ewedu and vegetables too. If you are based in the USA, UK, Canada, or any other country, don't worry, we provide packaging services plus shipping worldwide so no one is left out from trying our delicious product. On top of that, we are snail farming experts, offering training to help those interested in starting their own backyard snail farming business today. That's what makes us unique today, by visiting us at TFS Snail Farm today. Welcome back. Here's the news in full. The Academic Staff Union of Universities following a National Executive Council meeting held at the University of Midiguri has asked the federal government through the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation to release outstanding promotion areas owed its members in the interest of industrial peace and harmony in Nigerian universities. The ASU in a statement released earlier today said it was also disturbed by the news of employment racketeering perpetrated through the Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information System. The statement reads, NEC noted with serious concern that ASU members are currently owed several months of promotion areas, arising from distortions traceable to the forceful enrollment of academics on the Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information Platform. NEC observed that the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation has failed to address the issue despite several efforts by the union and university administrations. Consequently, ASO calls on the OAGF to ensure the immediate release of backlog of promotion areas to our members in the interest of industrial peace and harmony. End of quote. On the night of Wednesday, the 23rd of August, 2023, a two-story plaza collapsed in Abuja on Lagos Street in the Garki village area of Garki district. Confirming the development to journalists in Abuja, the Director General of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, Dr. Abbas Idris, said 37 people have so far been rescued at the scene of the collapsed structure. Dr. Idris said the affected persons have been evacuated to various medical facilities. He further confirmed that two people were fatally injured. The Director General commended the efforts of all stakeholders working hard manually to rescue trapped people, including members of the community. He revealed the rescue missions have continued while they await the arrival of equipment to enhance the operations. In sports news, Super Eagles goalkeeper Maduka Okoye has joined Udinese, putting pen to paper on a four-year deal with the Italian Serie A club. Udinese confirmed his signing from Watford via an official statement on their website earlier today and said Okoye's contract runs until 30th of June 2027. The club wrote, as a goalkeeper with a real physical presence and impressive technique, Okoye already has international experience with Nigeria under his belt, as well as playing time in the championship and the Eredivisie. Okoye was born in Dusseldorf, Germany, into a Nigerian family on the 28th of August 1999, going on to join the Bayer Leverkusen youth ranks, where he stayed until he made the move to Fortuna Dusseldorf in 2017. In the entertainment scene, Nigerian actress Kate Henshaw has called for the National Youth Service Corps. She made the call and tweet on Wednesday the 23rd, saying that the program was no longer serving its purpose. She said, When I served in the North, it was a very memorable experience. Traveling from Bauchi by road to the airport was safe, and then flying to Lagos just with my NYC ID card, which also got me rebate on my ticket. It's time to scrap this idea since core members can't travel within this country without let or hindrance. Stop putting the lives of young people at risk with moribund ideas. Security is a priority and needs to be sorted totally, not technically." End of quote. Henshaw's call comes after a number of recent incidents in which NYC members have been killed or injured. 
Just recently, eight NYC Corps members were kidnapped along the highway in Zamfara State. And that's a wrap on the daily news updates. Do stay connected with us by following our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Thread, and YouTube at Official Rema TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Neil Mioji. Thank you for watching and good night.